she couldn't pronounce my name. My father suggested that they rename me. They picked loose, which means light. If you Googled model student, Luce Edgar's picture would come up on the computer. Given Luce's background, you and Peter must have faced quite a few challenges, the language barrier, the culture shock. I mean, you don't pull a kid out of a war zone and have him turn out like Luce without a lot of help. Which is why this is so difficult. Difficult? Last week, he wrote a paper in which he argued that violence was a necessary cleansing force. You, you teach this? I don't. Yeah, well, look, Loose is a story that explores the journey of a young man, played by Calvin Harrison Jr., who um, was adopted from Eritrea by his two parents, played by Naomi Watts and, and Tim Roth, as he gets into this huge existential struggle and conflict with a teacher who accuses him of uh, harboring violent intentions. And this teacher is played by Octavia Spencer. And ultimately, the story is a thriller that is exploring a lot of really complex issues around identity in the country we live in today, but in a way that you know keeps the audience at the edge of their seat and leaves you asking a lot of questions, not just about these people, but about yourself and your beliefs as well. Yeah, I mean, everything he said, but, you know, he's just a kid, he's a 17-year-old who's an honor student, he's doing really well, and he loves his family, and he loves his friends, and he's just trying to to tell, deal with this situation with this teacher who's kind of putting him in this box, and he doesn't want to be in it anymore. He wants to be the person who believes he's trying to become, so. Now, as an actor, you often put yourself into a character. Have you ever been in real life accused of something you didn't do? Um, I usually did it. <laughs> he usually did it, so not not that I can remember right now. Last week, he wrote a paper in which he argued that violence was a necessary cleansing force. You, you teach this? I don't. So what? Just something's going on, and I want to be in front of it. She thinks I'm a poster boy, black kid who overcame his tragic past. You really don't like her, do you? Okay, what about a responsibility to tell the truth? What? So with the casting, you kind of, uh scored big, especially with Octavia, did you feel like you got an une unexpected assist from Ma? Because as soon as the movie came on, and so she's like, you guys gave her kids again? <laughs> and then also, it's like, you know, you kind of like don't trust her because of that movie. Did you expect that? Did you know? Or There's like, no way to know, you know, happen? you, you Put your hands together and you pray to the film gods. And we were very lucky to get this cast. I mean, what an amazing group of people. And, uh, you know, Octavia's in a real moment. O Naomi's gonna be doing Game of Thrones. I mean, w what more can you say? Tim's always working with Tarantino. We got great actors and, you know, at the end of the day, they're an incredible asset. But, you know, this movie would not work with this young man, without this young man sitting right next to us, you know? So I'm just thankful from top to bottom that everybody came, was committed and brought their egg in. You threatened your teacher? I didn't. Loose, don't lie to me. I'm not. Loose. It's the truth. What happened with Miss Wilson? There were a lot of rumors. This woman decided to go after him on some witch hunt. My home was vandalized. I'm not gonna ruin some kid's life because you come in here with some hunches. Is Where? my son being accused of a crime? He sure as hell is about to be. With watching this movie, you kind of walk away with more questions than you started. Was that on purpose? Was there an intent? And did you have a direction that you wanted to nudge people into or a message, a hidden message? Uh, when you say people, you mean the audience? The audience, yes. Um, no, it was very important that this movie, I felt respect the way things work in real life. Now it's a movie, it's a piece of entertainment, it's designed for people to come and have a good time, um, or at least be invested when they're watching it. But at the same time, we're dealing with the kind of the issues in the film, whether it's around identity with race or gender or class, that are very complex issues with no easy answers. So to try and tell the audience, well, this is the answer to these problems we've been dealing with for hundreds of years, I think uh, is disingenuous. And ultimately, I think the work that needs to be done is one that exist on an individual level and everybody has to find their own personal truth and their own personal answer to these kinds of questions. So it was important to tell the story in that manner. And what did you walk away with at the end of the movie? A lot of questions just like you, man. A lot of questions. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I actually, I don't know, I walked out personally feeling empowered because I got to live it too, though. So, and I got to experience what Luce was feeling and I just learned a lot about, you know, defending who you are and doesn't let people kind of shake that up for you. Just goes to show you, you never really know what's going on with people.